In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Trey Young, one of the best players in the NBA right now, and he is really proving himself in this year's playoffs. So let's get down, let's check out Trey Young and see just how amazing he really is, and how you can play just like him. So the one thing that Trey Young does extremely well is to set up the screen and roll, and being able to shoot extremely quick as we see right here. So how he sets up the screen is very simple. He goes through the legs, he fakes and does an in and out dribble away from from the screen so that it creates the space between him and his defender so that now he can rub shoulders with his screener so that now his defender gets caught on that screen. This now allows a couple of different things to open up. If the screener's man doesn't hedge to block Trey Young's shot, Trey Young is going to have a wide open shot. However, if this man goes and hedges on Trey Young, this will now allow Trey Young to have two options depending on what this player does. If this player comes down and protects against that drive or that cut by the screener, Trey Young can then kick the ball out for a three-point shot. However, if this man is worried about that three-point shot, this player hedges, then at that point, Trey Young could pass to this player who just screened for him, or if this player here, RJ Barrett looks like, comes in to try and protect that drive, we can have a kick out and then an extra pass for a three. There are so many different options that this screen and roll option does give Trey Young, but his ability to have a one motion set shot is going to be able to allow him to shoot those shots extremely quickly. His ability in the fast break as well, to get to that paint as fast as possible, either to get himself a layup or or a reverse layup or whatever it may be, or to set up a teammate for a dunk. Now, why does this happen? Well, of course, this man's defender is now starting to pay attention to Trey Young. Trey Young sees that. He's not about to shoot over top of a seven-footer. So then he lays it up to Capella for the massive dunk. Let's also not forget that Trey Young is a ridiculously good three-point shooter. There is a reason why he can shoot from that distance. Number one, he is a very good shooter, but number two, Atlanta actually put a four-point line on their basketball practice court, according to a lot of different stories I have read, and a lot of their team does shoot from that four-point line. Now, because of this, players like Derrick Rose are not expecting Trey Young to jack up a shot from no man's land. However, because Trey Young practices those shots, he's able to make those shots. Now, for some coaches, this may be a bad shot. However, for coaches like myself, or even coaches that coach the Atlanta Hawks, this is actually a good shot, and there's a reason for that. Because now, with Trey Young shooting that ridiculous shot, what's going to happen is it's going to, next possession, draw this defender a lot farther out. Why is that important? Well, now it's freeing up more space in the key for players like their centers and their forwards to get down into the paint so that they they can have easier baskets. Trey Young is also a ridiculously fast player. If he puts on those hyper jets that we call legs, he is able to really get past all the defenders there are in a fast break. Now, by drawing a defender up higher, what we do see is the ability for Atlanta to set those super high screens, which will allow Trey Young to attack the basket with those very fast legs of his, and there's not much defenders can do about it. As we can see with Derrick Rose here, he is trying to guard up higher. They have a staggered screen for Trey Young, but he is now way behind Trey Young when Trey Young is attacking, and there is absolutely nothing that Derrick Rose is able to do. Also, by bringing a defender a lot higher to stop you from hitting a three, what that's going to do is allow you to attack that player with your speed, especially if you're much faster, and you can get by them with ease. So by having a defender guard you where you would normally be shooting those wide open shots, you are now opening up, of course, passing opportunities, but if you're faster, it's opening up the drive much easier for you as well. Trey Young is also a god at using the step back. Here, he looks like he's about to go and use that screen, so his defender starts to cheat just a bit like if he was going to go under. However, because now that foot is the top foot, Trey Young attacks that top foot. This is actually a very good strategy 
strategy to use against that screen and roll. So here we have Trey Young attacking that right side. Massive step to be able to stop his dribble. Dribbles back, pushes off his left foot to plant both feet. This is why he can shoot those step back shots. Many players, when they do a step back, they're not balanced. What this does for you is to push off your right foot to dribble and cross over that ball back allows you to gather on your left foot which now allows you to stomp on both which now allows you to be balanced and this is the key to a step back especially when you're attacking off of a step back this will allow you to get balanced and of course if you've got a one motion set shot it's extremely fast there's also another way to be able to do a step back here so here we see the jab dribble push off the right into your set shot now why is this important well you could make it even farther you could push off the right you could then push off the left when you're gathering the ball and you could actually land on two feet way back here and create that much distance but because Trey Young has a one motion shot it's a much faster shot so he doesn't need to create that much more distance for himself he just needs to do that quick jab push off the right and then he's able to finish this this is why sometimes a one motion shot might be a bit better than a two. Trey Young is also not afraid to pull up from a logo range when players are not guarding him. However, in this case, we actually see Capella, it looks like, who comes down to set that screen, and that defender's just got nothing to do. He's He can't keep up with that. Now, this is the last move I really want to show you. So here, he gathers the ball, goes right, left. Now, what does he do? Well, he's got Julius Randle, who's about to block his shot. But he goes up and then around. That's a lot of practice. Believe me, you want to practice that. It may look, make your coach angry that you're practicing something, a, a circus shot some coaches may call it. However, it is quite useful if you get in that situation. Also, don't be afraid to attack players who are taller than you. If you can be quicker than them, you can also do step backs quicker than them as well, which means that they're not going to be able to keep up with you for that step back. Here we see him push off the right foot land left right and because this player's momentum was taking him towards that direction and Trey Young is a much faster more agile player because he's shorter for one reason then he's able to release that shot and of course get himself some easy points. Trey Young is a phenomenal basketball player. I really would not be surprised if he actually made it to the finals this year. Him and his team play extremely good with very few mistakes on the defensive end. Now, I'm not too sure if they're going to be able to keep up with the size of Milwaukee, but at the same time, I think that he's got a chance. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope that this video helps you become a better guard in basketball or even just a better basketball player in general. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.